forefront of the struggle and strike action that we're seeing. He is the Deputy General Secretary of the RMT Union. Yeah. He will be out once again on National Strike on the 15th and 17th of this month. Please make sure you support them. Do not cross that picket. Please put your hands together for the one and only Eddie Dempsey. Yeah. from the 85 thousand members of the RMT Union and as been said our members are out in national strike action again on the 15th and the 17th of this month so say hello to them on the picket lines they'll be out again our motto in our trade union is unity is strength and it means something to us it's not a slogan because we know our strength depends first and foremost on our unity on our unity as railway workers and transport workers, and on our unity as a class. And for all of my life, all of my life, living standards for working class people in this country have been falling backwards. Yeah. I was born in a strike when the ambulance workers were out on strike in 82. I was taken to hospital when the Green Goddess, the army, was in breaking that strike. I've never forgiven my mother for doing it. <laughs> But I have to tell you, the council housing that were built in this country for working class people, as we know, has been sold off. Our NHS, the proudest institution we built as a class, has been privatised. Our water services, sold. Our postal services, sold. Our railway services, sold. Our pensions, robbed. Our education system, commodified. Our children loaded up with debts enough to buy a house just to get an education. And that has been a picture for working class people for far too long and it's accelerated in recent times. Well, I say enough is enough. Yeah. And we're going to do something about it. The crisis that we're in, I'm not here to explain it to you. You know what it is, you feel it. You're the ones living through it just like everyone else in this country. We do not have to explain to people who can't pay their energy bills, there's something wrong in society and in our economy. We do not have to explain to people that can't afford to feed their children that there is something deeply wrong with our society and with our economy. And what is wrong with it is this. Who owns what? Yes. Either we can have a homes built for people to live in or we can have investment opportunities for speculators. Oh. Either we can have an NHS, NHS system to look after the sick, or we can have an investment opportunity for private healthcare providers. Even we can have a water system, even we can have an energy system for the people in this country, or we can have opportunities for profiteers to speculate on, but we can't have both. And what it all comes down to is this, who is better organised, us or them? If they're better organised than us, They'll get higher profits, we'll get lower wages, we'll get worse services and poor housing. But if we're better organised than them, then we'll get better wages and we'll get better housing. Yeah. We'll get better yeah. education for our kids. Yeah. We're living in unique, unique times. People have never found it so hard at the same time as the rich has never been richer. They've never had it better. We've got 177 billionaires in this country with a combined wealth of more than 750 billion. We're seeing profits in the top 350 FTSE companies accelerate by 73% since 2019. At the same time, wages are falling and our public services are being torn up. Let me tell you this, these two things are not unrelated. Those profits that they're taking are at the cost of our wages and our public services. What has been happening for far too long in this country has been a direct transfer of wealth from working class people, from you, to the people at the top. We have got to turn that around. And let me tell you this, no one's going to do it for us. 
The politicians aren't going to come in on a white horse and save us. What is going to come down to is ordinary people organising together, standing up and being counted and saying, we are going to make the change that's necessary in this country and we're going to drive them to do it. And by God, I'm prepared to do it. Are you with us? Yeah. Those profits have been escalating and the wealth at the top of our society has been escalating at the same time as our living standards have been falling. And they want to play a free card trick on us and tell us that if we demand better pay rises, it's going to cause an inflationary spiral. This is nothing but a cheap card trick designed to keep you poor. Don't fall for it, it's lies. They want to tell you, they want to tell you that railway workers are somehow in opposition with teachers and that posties have somehow got something against NHS workers. Well, I'll tell you what, when we're on the picket lines, it's the NHS workers in the posties with us and we're on their picket lines too. Railway workers against posties and posties against nurses and us against immigrants and black against white and Muslims against Christians. They want the division because they know if we stand together, our power cannot be stopped and we can make the changes that we need. They are terrified, not of us, of you. That's who they're scared of. We've been running for far too long. We've been running for far too long in this country, and as a great man once said, they'll stop chasing when we stop running. It's time to stand up, all of us, together, and say we're not going to have this anymore. No longer are we going to have people ripping us off, watching our kids go hungry, watching people worry about their bills, worrying about the old people this winter, so that people at the top can have the time of their lives and the wealth that only you and I can imagine in our wildest dreams. And I'll tell you what, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for my children. I'm here for my father. I'm here for the people that I love. I am not going to have it said in years come from now, in this moment, that I did nothing for the old people who are going to be worrying about their bills this winter, for the children who are going to be worried about their education and the food in their bellies. We can make that change, and I want you to join with me on that. I want you to say the same thing in years from now. In this moment, when it counted, when the chips were down, we stuck together, we didn't let them do it to us, and we give them the fight of their lives because I'm prepared to fight. Are you with me? Yeah. We've got a hostile government. We've got a hostile media. We've got the biggest corporations on the planet against us in the RMT. And our members said, I tell you what, we're prepared to fight, we're going to fight them. And if they want to take the nurses on, we'll fight them. And if they want to take the posties on, we'll fight them. And if they want to take the old people on and the younger, we're going to fight you too. We're not going to have it anymore. This government their answer to the crisis we're facing is to bring in laws to stop trade unions organising. That's what they're trying to do. Their policy is to criminalise dissent against poverty. And that is why I'm saying to you tonight, strikes are important, industrial action is important. But what we have got to do is get the people out there in this country that know what's wrong, they know it, we have got them to take the next step. And that is to act on what they already know is wrong. It's not, a, it's not enough uh, to shout slogans. We have got to build a movement that brings people together and gets them out on the streets in forms of peaceful, collective civil disobedience. That is what we've got to do. If they think they can stop us on the picket lines and we'll go in the streets. We'll go to our communities. We'll put our arms around the people that need help and both of will get it going in this country once again. We are the class that built the things to be proud of. We brought democracy here in this country. We built an NHS, we built housing, we built an education system and they're not going to have it for another minute longer. It's about time we stood together and fought back. Enough is enough everyone, solidarity. Yeah.